Then I'm about to make my mama rich Cartoons and cereal I ain't felt this Scrooge McDuck Elementary hood shit What's up everybody? It's your man Random Man Definitely Amazing.com It's Saturday There's cereal Here to talk about cartoons so that would mean that we're here for Saturday morning cartoons and cereal season three. Season three has been pretty big so far. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Chella, Chella's way. Was okay. Guess number one. Followed by Freshly Hollows. Followed by Mike Black. Okay. And now. Stray Manning. Stray Manning. Stray Manning. But see, here's the thing. Yeah. We've done this before. We've haven't done it we? before. Um, for another segment. For another segment, I was a couple pounds lighter and I had hair. Yeah. I had hair. Yeah. yeah. I believe that was for Lyricist Chronicles. Yes. This is big for me because this, I don't know if you know, but this is the 10th year anniversary of DefinitelyAmazing.com. Wow. So we've been doing this for 10 years. And you were the first video interview. So that makes this even more like elite. This is iconic. All right. Um, this is Dre Manning yes, sir. of a really, a really cool click. I was going <laughs> to give you some more credit. This is a really cool click yeah, yeah, yeah. of uh, people, the Creative Collective. Um, yeah, 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 there's creative, some, there's creative some things. Creative Collective Worldwide, High Bridge Representative, Dirty Bronx nigga. I can say that, right? That's yeah, what I'm yeah. Dirty yeah. Bronx nigga. Yo. <laughs> you're, you're, the, you're the one with the kid, in, in, with the kid over here. He, he knows the mantra. Cool. <laughs> All right, cool, 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 oh, cool. Yeah, man. Uh, as people always know, um, Logic is our uh, guest co-host, and he usually is the guy that's the background voice that you'll hear uh, chiming in, or you'll hear Wave 52 chiming in. But Logic's not here with us today, so... Um, Shout out to my dude Logic, man. Yeah, Logic. Yeah, yeah, man, I know Logic. Man. Yeah, you know Logic. I know I to, you know Logic. I went to D.C. with Logic for the million in March. Oh, cool, cool, cool. So you know Logic. Logic is actually uh, very integral and definitely amazing now. So okay, okay. He's, uh, you know, DA family now. Okay. But, um... You know, I've allowed all my guests since, you know, I don't have, I have an extra cheer. I've allowed my guests to bring guests today, and everybody's brought some pretty cool guests. And he brought his kid. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Who, you gotta, you gotta, the last time I even knew anything about you, mm -hmm. you weren't reading books. <laughs> no, see, actually, um, Shy is, he's my son, but he's, he's my girlfriend's son. Okay. You get what I'm saying? So he's, he, uh, my, my, my eldest, Albert, is still not old enough to read books yet. Then but I, no, no, no. But I, have a, I, I have a gang, bro. <laughs> like, I got yeah. four, four boys, so it's Sha, who's here with me. Then there's Isaiah. Um, then there's Albert, who's four. Okay, okay. And then there's Aiden, who's nine months. Okay. So, yeah. but, 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 we, but, but our interview goes further back, so we... Yeah, that was Albert. That was Albert? That was Albert. He's four now. He's four. He's like, Oof, this what, big now. Well, who in the world are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good Lord. Yeah, yeah. Look, it's just too many of y'all. Yeah. <laughs> he's gonna have to have his he's gonna nah, have to have man. his own little um yeah. cartoon about you guys. I, if everything work out well, I'll probably get a good show like like T I and Tiny, man. You know yeah, I'm just, down with that. The family, you know. Just don't be that kid on the show that like nobody likes. <laughs> cause then that cause then that's just pointless. Yeah. No, but he, but he, he came in here like he would have been your son. Like he came here no, with he the headphones. Is my son. It's not he would no, have no, been no, my no, son. no, 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 no. Here's what I'm saying. Like he came in like he would have been your son because he came in here with headphones mm -hmm. on. He mm -hmm. came in here with a book. Mm -hmm. Like, if I think of the iconic son of what would be Dre Manning's son, yeah, yeah. he'd come in, book in hand, headphones on his head. Yeah. I'm just saying, that's what I would think. That's, so That's actually the perfect, perfect combination. So you're doing the right thing. Yeah, right? perfect. Perfect. <laughs> and, you know, here at DefiniteMaiden.com, we love the kids. Yeah. Um, even though someone asked me recently, is this a kid show? And I said, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> but you picked a great topic. Yeah. Since we're talking about family. Yeah. Um, I mean, family to me has like become really, really important. Right. Um, it's actually what helps you stay balanced as a creative or as an entrepreneur, whatever endeavor it is you're trying to do. Agreed. Kind of keeps you balanced from when you're dealing with like all the like the noise outside of the home and then you come right. home. And it's noise in the home, but there's kind of like this this peace and tranquility because you know this noise is a, there's people that you love and you care about right. and you are actually like looking forward to right. seeing. So like when the options, when you gave me the options, I was like, yeah. I want to talk about cartoon families. Cartoon families. We're talking about... When I thought about this, though, mm -hmm. a lot of families came up. There's okay. a lot of iconic families. Yes. I'm pretty sure we're going to agree on a lot of these, but I got one that's going to blow you out of the water. What's up? I'm not going to start with it. 
Okay. Now I can start with it. No, right. no, 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 no. I like to put people in suspense. All Your right. favorite cereal you picked was Captain Crunch Berries. Yes, I absolutely love these. I love this since I, I I've loved you since I was a kid, and it's like even more now. Like when we buy this in my crib, I try to hide it from the kids. Cause it's like I want to be the only. You know it don't work. No. Nope. He's like, it doesn't I try, work. I try like putting it on the top shelf. It didn't work. They climbed up there and got it down. I try. I'm like, man, I'm about to just lock this in the room. But I can, I can definitely fly through a whole box of this, bro. Like this, put on some beat making videos. I fly through a whole box of this. I, I, I like that style. I like yeah, that man. style. You know, the the greatest ideas come from uh, eating and and listening to music. Yeah. I. I I'm, I'm I'm big on letting my guests start. Okay. So you can kick it off, and right after you kick it off, we're gonna pour some cereal. Uh, we're drinking some almond milk. Yep. Um, which is actually an excellent source of calcium and vitamin D. That's what it says on the box. <laughs> um, and we're gonna we're gonna talk. But uh, let's just what's what's the one family that came to mind automatically when you thought about this? Um, the first family I thought of was Proud Family. Wow. <laughs> I, 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 I did think of Proud Family. Yeah, yeah, that was actually the, the first cartoon family I thought of. Um, for me, it was just like they were they were a black family. Like it was a multiracial cartoon in general. Right. And then, but it, its focus was this black family dynamic. I mean, it was clearly a cartoon, so there was a lot of cartoony things going on. But the 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 focus was like this black family. You had a black mother. You had grandma who was sugar mama, but right. you know we might call a big mama or nana. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, but that was sugar mama, and she was like the funny. And sugar mama was now, so you know, She was hilarious, and you had you know uh, the dad, the mom, and just how they worked things out. They weren't they weren't. There was kind of like this urban approach to it, but it wasn't to the point where it was uh, distasteful. Right. It was never. I don't. I don't. I don't personally view the show as distasteful. I think that was um, probably one of the best uh, written shows as far yeah. as an animated African American family. Yeah, I, I agree. think that was def definitely done well. Yeah. Um, it lasted for a couple of seasons. Yeah, it did. And uh, I, 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 I'll commend you on that. I yeah. did not put Proud Family on my list. See? I commend you for that. That is. That was pretty dope. That's pretty dope. Uh, I'm gonna follow it up with opening this box. All right. And as I open up the box. I'm gonna bring out a curveball. Okay. Of another family that's kind of like they're kind of they're kind of mixed, kind of biracial. It's pour, it's pour your own poison on Saturday morning cartoon cereal. Okay. Newsflash, people. He sticks. He stays close to almost everything we do. He follows most of the people we interview on Lyricist Chronicles. He follows our DA later this week. Guess what show he hasn't seen yet? Saturday morning cartoons are serious. So, so yeah, yeah, yeah. He's. I'm gonna beat him up in the corner. I'm not beating him up. You, you remember one of the first things we talked about was wrestling? Do you remember that in our interview? Did I? What, were you the first person I told I wanted to be a, yeah. a professional wrestler? Yeah. 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 It's, I, I I rarely talk about that, but I think you're the, you're probably one of the only people that have that. Because I'm random man, and I ask the hard hitting questions. <laughs> that's that's what I do. I ask the hard hitting questions, Imagine people. Imagine me being a wrestler though, like. Not rapping. No Imagine that life like, for you, going to like WWE events with this guy. So my curveball is gonna probably throw you off. I'm waiting for it. The Saturdays. The Saturdays were a great family. That's, I never even heard of that. The Saturdays were from the show The Secret Saturdays, and the Saturdays were a family of a. Uh, they were I'm trying to get the word correct. They were. What is the word? They chased things like the Bigfoot, Loch Ness Monster, stuff like that. Mm. And they were an animated special on Cartoon Network. They had three seasons or two seasons. Um, the Sun was found out later in the first season to have powers. Mm. Um, they had a Komodo dragon as their pet. Okay. And the father and the mother were like archaeologists for... Um, how, do, how long was this? this uh, that sounds like the family from Danny Phantom. Yeah, they were they they were Cartoon Network's rival, the Danny Phantom. Ah, so they were around. Okay, they were okay, okay. Very similar around the same, almost same time. Period. Okay, cool, cool. Secret Saturday is a great family, and the reason why they were a great family because they were. This showed you a tight knit family. Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. they went through a lot in the first season, and I mean, they went through kid getting kidnapped. Then find out the kid has powers. Then find out that he is technically one of the things that they're chasing. Yeah. 
Um, so what does that make? Does that make him something they should, you know, chase? Mm. Um, their uh, his the kid's kind of like brother is a Bigfoot character. Wow. So he's like a, he's like almost like one of the Bigfoot species. So that's like his his uh, half brother. It's probably one of the most psychedelic shows ever. But I gotta, I gotta check it out. Secret Saturdays. And uh, the Saturdays, I thought I, I thought I'd throw a curveball because okay. not a lot of people know about the Secret Saturdays show, but Saturdays were that was the, that was their name. So they were the Saturday. Uh, my second family uh, favorite cartoon family was the Quest, Johnny Quest. Good one. Um, I love I love the fact that you know damn, I can't even remember his dad's name, but uh, Doctor Quest was just so smart. Uh, Bruce was like kind of like this brawn, but then they had Haji, uh, who was like. This, this this international figure for them in the show. Um, and they were just always out there doing something. That he was an case. international figure, period, for, yeah. for, 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 I think, he don't get, Haji doesn't get enough credit for being one of the first mm -hmm. colored characters of a mm -hmm. different descent to become a mainstream cartoon yeah. figure. Like, everyone who grew up in the 60s and 70s Going into the '80s, knew of who Haji was. Mm -hmm. um, they knew his his catchphrase, "Sim Sim Salabim." Mm -hmm. Like he was known. I think he was more popular than Johnny Quest. Yes, in fact, when they were when, when they were going to do the, the the second reboot, because they did do they did do a reboot. Okay. And it did pretty well. Mm -hmm. um, it was like the Johnny Quest Avengers at that point. You remember the it was reboot? When Johnny was older. Yeah. He wasn't a little kid anymore. He was more like a teenager. They did the reboot, and the reboot was. All right, but it only lasted two seasons. Mm -hmm. And you know, in the realm of cartoons, if it lasts two seasons, you didn't do that great. Yeah. Um, but remember, you know, it's all about selling toys. Yeah. So they didn't sell any toys because no one knew about who Johnny Quest was. I don't know. Johnny was so lit, bro. Yeah. Like Johnny was he Johnny could fight. And that was okay. Johnny had some hands. See, Johnny had Johnny had hands like he was a white boy from Brooklyn. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't have hands like he was a white boy that was going around the world. Yeah. But like but, Haji Haji was just it, man. Like it was just I guess like everything about him made him more popular. That catchphrase was probably the, one of the most used. I still use it sometimes just to like bother people. Simpsons all been just hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> I just wish I could use it to actually like do stuff that Haji did. Mm -hmm. Like imagine somebody getting on your nerves. <laughs> Keep talking. Sim Sim Salabim. So far. Now you can't talk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now you can't talk for an hour. I don't want you to talk for an hour. And they're just sitting there like this. No, you can't talk. Until I say that again, I'm not going to. Um, well, I mean, since we're talking about families with powers, and this family, once again, wasn't really, uh, they weren't, they were technically all born together. I'm going to go with the uh, Powerpuffs. <laughs> yeah. Powerpuffs, say yep. the day. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with the Powerpuffs. They were, it was a weird, it was a weird combination, but, uh, it definitely was something that made you go, all right, yeah. Because the, they would fight, like, just like normal sisters would. Fem um, uh, their family dynamic was crazy, but mm -hmm. that was a great show. Yeah. They ruined it with that reboot they made. I've never seen the Don't reboot. Don't watch it. All right. <laughs> I've never seen the reboot. Don't do it to yourself. Mm. It'll make you cry. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. Great family dynamic, great powers. Yeah. They showed exactly how sisters really act towards each other, though. Yep, definitely, <laughs> definitely. But they also inspired like a bunch of little girls to like be incredibly strong and, and right, and not kind of like be held down by anyone or anything. They were the Wonder Woman of that era of yeah, the nineties. Yeah. Um, so many girls who like teamed up and became like the Powerpuff Girls in like middle school. I was like, man, y'all ain't got powers, but I get it. You know? Yeah, I get <laughs> like, it. I you get know, it. we'll give it to you. Definitely. But I, I like Powerpuff Girls. You, yo, you're actually, like, really not on my list at all, <laughs> which I like. Yeah. Because this makes this a better dynamic. Yeah. Because it, if it, we had the same things, it'd be It'd corny. be boring. It'd and be really no boring. one wants corny. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to go I'm gonna go back in time. Okay. And give you the two first families of cartoons, Flintstones and the Jetsons. I knew, I knew one of us was going to say it. I just didn't want to be that guy to say it. Definitely. Flintstones and the Jetsons. Um, uh, so the Flintstones, uh, first of all... Let me just say, the Flintstones, without the Flintstones, and this is no one's going to probably give them the credit they deserve, without the Flintstones, there would be no family guy. Mm. It'd be no family guy. There'd be no dynamic of... What about Simpsons? Would there be a Simpsons? Um, Simpsons, 
was a different dynamic of father. Okay. Um, without without Simpsons, without Simpsons, there'd be no Family Guy too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But um, I think if we go down the the yes, definitely as far as a prime time cartoon. Okay. Cartoons didn't get prime time status back then. Yeah. So Flintstones, one of the first aired at prime time, and then followed by the Jetsons, um, all off of the Honeymooners. So without the Honeymooners. You wouldn't have had the Flintstones and so on and so on and so on. Right. Uh, yeah, so we're about to cut the commercial. I'm going to find some really cool, funny commercial to put there because that's what I do. All right. Um, it's your man, Random Man, Dre Manning. Dre Manning. I feel like this is, I feel like it's like. Is it weird calling me Dre Manning now? No. No? Right. Not that. I feel like it's almost, it's almost iconic because I'm Random Man and now you're <laughs> Dre Manning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, before it was like, you're Dre Manning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it. But now it rolls off the tongue. Yeah, man. We should man. put an album together. No, let's not do that. <laughs> it's your man, Random Man. Definitely, hey, I can rap. Um, <laughs> definitely amazing. We'll be right back. And we're going to talk some music. That's right. right. Hip hop. Let me come back. This unfortunate man is Stringfellow Bean, world's leading plant expert. And this is Jean Lafoot, world's meanest pirate. And this is your last chance to tell me, what is a crunchberry? There's no such thing. Nom de plume. It say right on this box, cap and crunch cereal with crunchberries. They taste like the strawberry, but they're not the strawberry. Do they have seeds? No. Do they get mushy and milk? No, they stay crunchy. Then they're not berries. You make the fool of me? I will. You You'll put up your patty paws. That's what you'll do, Jean Lafoot. Yeah! Captain Crunch, just in time. Anytime's the time for Captain Crunch, especially Captain Crunch with Crunch Berries. It's got corn for crunch and oats for punch. And Crunch Berries for that little extra. Hmm, Monsieur Lafoot, now I know what Crunch Berries are. What? What? They're swell. Captain Crunch and Captain Crunch with Crunch Berries from Quaker. What's going on, everybody? It's your man, Random Man, DefinitelyAmazing.com, Saturday morning cartoons and cereal in effect. Uh, I'm here with a hip hop artist. Yes. I feel like we're back at the original um, premise of Saturday morning cartoons and cereal, which was Saturday morning cartoons and cereal and hip hop. Mm -hmm. We only we only entered into hip hop stars, but now we're doing everything. Yeah. But I feel let's go back to the roots and let's interview somebody who yeah. I know yep. is a phenomenal artist. Thank you. But you reached out to me for this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you said you had something in the works. Uh, not even. It's it's ready. Like oh, I, I, it's ready. Um, Let's talk. So I've been working on this project called uh, Hello, My Name Is. It's gonna be the first project I release, like honestly, and put my all into um, in quite some time. Maybe I'm gonna say about six years. Right. Um, so I'm just gearing up. I'm releasing this single from it called Live from the West Side um, on February 27th. Um, a lot of people would look at me weird, like, bro, what you live in the East Coast, how is it live from the <laughs> West Side? So uh, I'm, from, I'm from the Bronx, I'm from the West Side of the Bronx. Um, from the West Side of the Bronx, High Bridge to be exact. So uh, during my time, like when I met you, I was going by the stage name Dreamer. And, yeah. and the, person, the person I was then is the same person I am now, just a little more free. Right. Just a little more free creatively, emotionally, and mentally. Still um, a dreamer. I'm still a dreamer. But just, um, yeah. What happened was, during the time I met you, I was kind of like, all right, I need to be this way because this is what people, people like. But then when you guys didn't see me, I was, I'm like, I was kind of like this hood dude. I'm from the hood, and I'm like a hood dude at the same time. Right. So like I was banging, I was selling weed, like I was you know, shooting dice, doing everything your average hood nigga does. But I'd come around y'all, and it was like peace and love, and wearing cardigans and looking really cool. Right, right. So it was like, which also made me realize, like, damn, people can pretend to be gangster rappers, but they can also pretend to be conscious rappers. And I was just like, you know what? I'm not really, really telling my story, and I'm not telling it in the way that I should be telling it. And this is why I don't feel like I'm accepted, because nobody knows me. Nobody really knows me. They know of me. They're familiar with me. So I kind of went through like this metamorphosis. Um, it took some time to go through um, and finally found myself creatively. And then that spawns a record like Live from the West Side, which is like really, really aggressive. And, you know, there'll be people who don't like it. There'll be people that will like it. There'll be people that will love it. And I'm okay with all of that. Right. Um, because for me, my music is therapeutic for me. Right. I do my music for me. I... I see progression. Mm -hmm. 
I've all and I and, and me I I look at things as uh, where we have gone in the last ten years. Um, everybody that's ever been featured on the site, and I consider you know some of them don't talk to me no more. Some of them still talk to me every day. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are there are a lot of people I consider family, mm -hmm. and I look at the we. How have we progressed over the ten years? Um, you know, going into this 10th anniversary in October, um, I, I have a lot to look back upon, and um, I think it's a very proud moment to have you on as the first Lyricist Chronicles interview. Um, back when I was just still doing everything with uh, flip cam. with the flip cam, so you know, um, this Do is a moment. Do you still own it? Do you still have the flip cam? I still have my flip cam. The battery does not work for it. But you should you should always keep something like that. That's, I, that's yeah, something. it's still it's still in my uh, possession. Actually, we're we're buying a, I'm buying a new battery mm -hmm. and a new charger for it um, later nah, on this you year. Gotta, you, what you need to do is just get this shit bronze and put it on a slight. Like, make this into a statue like my flip, my flip cam. What you used to do with it and just let that be that monument. You know, I like that idea. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, definitely, everybody, make sure you're checking out the Creative Collective. Make sure you keep your eyes and your ears ready. February 27th is going to be right here before you yeah, know it. Yeah. Um, thanks, man. Thank you. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for uh, always supporting Definitely Amazing. Thank you. No, oh. no. That is, that, honestly, from the moment we met to this moment right now, whether we've spoken every day or we've spoken every other day or spoken in a year or two, it's always felt like I'd just seen you yesterday. So I appreciate that. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, thank you for, for allowing me to be here today. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had to show, I'm, I showed up because you allowed me to be here. So I appreciate you. that 100%. Uh, this is this is amazing. I mean, now I got, I got, to, I got to meet you. Get to meet your kid. Yeah, man. Yeah, he, he's you know, he in his own zone. He's in his zone right now. Um, we, got to have, we got to have some fun, man. This, yeah. this is cool. You came prepared. I appreciate that. Definitely, man. Yeah, I bet you thought like, man, I hope this guy got some cards. I, I was ready to keep going, bro. Like